Hello and welcome to this Neptune Snackable video. My name is Kevin Phillips and I'm a Senior Specialist Solutions Architect working in the Amazon Neptune team. In this Snackable, I'm going to show you how you can build an agentic AI graph application using the Neptune MCP server. Now this is primarily a coding session, so I'm not going to be covering the basics of MCP. I'll go through setting up the environment, ingest seed data using the Neptune Workbench magics, followed by querying our graph using the Neptune MCP server. Next, we'll circle back to re-ingest some related unstructured data back into our graph to demonstrate how we can use the MCP server to align unstructured input with an existing graph schema. Great, so let's dive straight into the code. Okay, so I'm in the AWS console and I'm on the Neptune page and I've created myself a new Neptune database cluster, uh, which is here. Um, I'm using 1.4.6.1 engine version and now that's the latest um, as, of, as of right now. Now, I've also created myself a notebook, so a Neptune notebook. So if you're creating that through the AWS console, it defaults to automatically connect to the specified a database cluster, or indeed if you're using Nature Analytics to your graph. So um, that's through a lifecycle policy. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this. So open Jib to Classic. That's going to load me into a new tab. Now I've already created a new untitled um, Jupyter Notebook. So if we open this, so the first thing that we're going to do is what we need to do is, is, is effectively install the Strands Agent SDK. You do, do this through using pip. We need the agent's toolings and we also need UV. Now UV um, is going to effectively run the Neptune MCP server as a sub-process. Now I've already done this uh, just to save some time. Now let's take a quick look and see, I'm going to run this open cipher query. Now keen-eyed um, of you will spot that I'm using percent percent OC. Now Percent percent is a um, it basically defines a, a magic command, and the Neptune notebooks come with what's known as the Neptune Workbench, which is a collection of, um, of of magic commands. And what this is specifying is essentially a shortcut to open cipher queries. Um, and we have um, we have the same support for Gremlin and Sparkle queries. Now this is just retrieving a count of the nodes in the graph. As you can see, there are zero. So now I'm going to run a seed command. So this is a uh, this is another magic command here. Now seed command effectively provides us with curated data sets. And I'm going to um, uh, we're, today what we're doing is we're actually using the airports data set, and I'm going to submit that now. While that's running, uh, that's going to take a minute or so. So uh, while that's running, um, directly after this, we're going to run a count again, just to make sure that we've actually got some data. But here, I just want to go through and uh, demonstrate what we're doing. Um, we're importing the strands tools and the strands SDK classes. And we're going to be using Claude Sonnet 4.5 in, uh, in this demonstration. You can use other di different different um, models that you've actually got access to as well. Um, we've got we're specifying two prompts here. Now the prompt first prompt um, is effectively says uh, it is used for when we're writing to the graph and we're saying don't duplicate en uh, entities. You're connecting to an Amazon Neptune graph. Um, and the next is a read prompt. So it, it kind of says, okay, whenever you uh, whenever you write queries um, or curate queries, I should say, um, first check, the, first fetch the schema so you actually know that what the labels are, what the different property names are, etc. And also um, describes what the uh, what the agent's uh, primary role is. So it's in to investigate and analyze graph data, and these are this relates to air routes, air uh, ports, etc. Um, we're specifying the Neptune database endpoints. That's our primary endpoint or our cluster endpoint, and then we're then we're effectively uh, specifying it in a, the correct format that the Neptune MCP requires. And so for Neptune database, it's Neptune hyphen DB, or for Neptune analytics, it's Neptune hyphen graph. So let's just check on our data set. Yeah, fantastic. So our data set's fully loaded. Let's run this. Excellent, we got 3,749 records, um, or nodes at least. So, okay. <clears throat> so coming down here, we are, I've created a few, uh, few functions here. The first is to actually create a new MCP client object. 
Um, and that's using this uh, this here, so the Amazon La AWS Labs Amazon Netune uh, MCP server, and that's using our graph endpoint. So that was the prefixed Netune hyphen DB with our Netune endpoint. Uh, next, we've got a few uh, a couple of functions, so our run agent read query and run agent write query, and that's that's effectively just saying here's uh, telling our agent what to do. And then finally, we've got a, um, a query here which provides us with a, like a interactive UI, uh, which I'll demonstrate in a second. So let's run that. As I scroll down, okay, so we, we've got, uh, I've specified a, uh, a sample question, uh, which is getting me the total difference for a specific route. And that route uh, goes from London Heathrow, Frankfurt, Charles de Gaulle, Washington Dulles, and then back to London Heathrow. So let me copy that and let me run this. So... Okay, let me paste that in and enter. So what this is doing behind the scenes is this is in, uh, interacting with the Neptune MCP, and we but we told the Neptune MCP server that we need that we need to get the graph schema every time that you in, interact with it. You need to get the graph schema. So it's finding these uh, it's finding these different. Um, different distances for each leg now interestingly that it actually lhr to frankfurt um so i specified frankfurt and it identified the code uh cdg i specified now that's um again if we scroll down a little bit we can identify we can see that it correctly identified the airports and again we've got the overall 8197 so that's that that that's pretty cool um I'm just going to exit out of that. So I'm going to finish finish that bit because what I want to do now is I want to actually ingest new journey data that actually relates to that same route that I just uh, that I just asked upon. So here we're just saying we're we're going from London Heathrow to Frankfurt, um, specifying some distances, and we go over around. We talk talk about Charles de Gaulle. We talk about um, JFK, which actually we didn't request um, in the last question. Um, and then we then we're actually going to Seattle and then Washington Dulles. So, all in all, um, this is the information we want to uh, want to actually ingest, and we specify a prompt as well. So this information relates to a specific planned journey, only capture the airports and the routes between them, along with the distances. So let's run this one, and this is again this is going to be interacting directly with our um, with the Neptune MCP, and in this time we're actually using the write the memory prompt. Um, to, to do it. So um, already can see there's airport structure in the graph. Um, perfect. All six airports already exist. Great. So we're not re we're not creating new airports based on those codes that we specified. Um, interestingly, uh, all re all routes already exist, but with slightly different distances. So let me update that. So it's running an open cipher query along here. Um, excellent. Let me verify the complete journey. And now it's giving us a nice summary of what it actually created. Now, this is our overall distance that we've created. Now, this doesn't relate directly to our previous question. So I want to now ask that same question um, after we've actually created, after we've updated the graph. Now, um, hopefully we should see a change because we know that we've actually we've modified distances based on this, uh, based on the journey that we'd previously planned. So it's found everything, fantastic. Now, interesting and and in fact correctly, it has updated our journey distance. So previously it's eight thousand one hundred ninety seven. Now it's eight thousand two hundred five. So we've got an eight mile difference, which is great. So from unstructured data, we have effectively updated our highly curated graph schema. Right, time to share some next steps on how you can get started with Neptune and the Neptune MCP server. You can follow the first link here, which will provide you with details on how to launch a new Neptune database cluster using CloudFormation or directly through the AWS console. Next, you can find out more information about Neptune Notebooks and Neptune Workbench Magics and how to use them by following the second link. Next, here's a link to the Neptune MCP Server GitHub repository where you'll find instructions on how to get started using the Strands SDK, Claude Desktop or launching via Docker. And with that, I'd like to say a big thank you for watching and please leave your feedback in the comments section below.